Howdy folks, welcome to Cray Outdoors. Uh, today we are at Red House Lake. Finally brought my kayak out uh, for the first time this year. The other day, only missed one fish. Uh, here's the quick video of that. Got ourselves the first fish of the trip. No, it came off. Oh man, I just missed one. It's been, uh, there's just been a ton of people fishing Quaker Lake so far this year. Uh, the couple of times I've, I've went there this year, it's been absolutely mobbed. So I decided to come out to Red House Lake today, avoid the crowd a little bit. Fishing the deeper water right now, trying for the stock trout, and uh, might try the shallower water as it gets towards evening, see if we can find some pre-spawn bass uh, or, or some trout hanging out in the shallows. So see how we do, see what we catch. That's when I put the camera away. Just taking a few casts uh, on my way back from that peninsula there. And got our first fish of the trip. Little bass. See if there's more in this area here. It's the catch and release season for bass, but I mean, he's obviously too small to keep anyway. I want to catch whatever that fish is, it seems big. It's not that big, it's just a little bass. Can't hook it though. Oh, there he is. He chased it down. <laughs> Just a little bass. Alright, fun to be finally catching some bass. Bit almost every cast down there. Biting really lightly. Here's one. <laughs> They're all just little guys, your typical Red House Lake bass. But hey, I'm having fun, I'm catching something. There he goes. First try. Oh, and it came off. <laughs> oh. All right, found him finally. Camera's the curse. I film cast. I don't catch him. There we go. It's a little one. Alrighty. Don't want to give this location away too much. We finally got ourselves a trout. I should be, uh, these are stock trout, and these trout uh, really don't have a holdover in this section of this stream anyway, so I'm not uh, as concerned with handling them as I would be a wild trout. But we're going to let them go today. I'm actually heading home to my parents' house. So, uh, <clears throat> my parents have food for me, so I won't be eating them, so we're letting them go today. Whoa. Holy crap, there's fish jumping all over the place right now. There we go. Trout number two of the day. This one's a little bit bigger, I think. I think he's a little bit bigger. He's more of a fighter, that's for sure. Nice trout two on the day. Alrighty, let him go. There she goes. Whoa, that was a terrible cast. There we go. Uh, I watched him hit. I watched him come out and hit it. That is neat. That is really neat. Oop. Another little trout. Heck yeah. <laughs> Racking up numbers. Am I to my limit yet? Five is the limit. I'm not there yet. I think there's only like three or four. Granted, I'm releasing them today, but cool to get your hypothetical limit. <laughs> Alright, here goes that fish. Trout hit right in front of me, and that's over there. Oop. I think we can pretty much release this one right in the water right here, just a little guy. <laughs> Came over here to get a snag off the tree, so I'd take a cast one down here. I get a nice trout, might be the one of the biggers of the day too. Trying to get them off the hook. There you go buddy. Cool. I guess we'll take a couple more casts at the spot here. Alrighty, folks, well, we tried it. Uh, I 
lost count. I think I got my hypothetical limit of trout. Of course, I was releasing them. I, I don't know if I got four or five, but fun to come down here, catch a couple of fish. I realize I never really explained what's going on. Today is the next day. So uh, last night I was up fishing at the lake, caught my first couple bass of the year, made a rookie mistake and went to the other side of the lake once that cleared out uh, with people and went to where I normally catch the fish this time of year and uh, didn't catch anything. So rookie rule being never leave fish to find fish. If I'd have stayed where I was at, I probably would have caught a lot more of those little bass and who knows, maybe I'd have caught a, a big bass or one of those big breeder trout. Yeah, today there was a lot of people fishing on both sides of the lake. So I decided to come down to the trout streams and uh, try my luck. Figured out the pattern was definitely the good old fashioned rooster tail spinner. Usually I don't use the rooster tail spinner too much just because that's the lure that basically everybody uses. One of the most popular lures in the area and so the fish usually learn what it looks like in a hurry but today they're in the mood for bugs. I saw them jumping around. Rooster tail spinner with that uh, with the skirt on it does a little bit better job of mimicking uh, bugs so uh, I guess that's why they're in the mood for it. These fish have been stocked for uh, a couple of weeks now. I, they're starting to act a little bit more like wild trout and they're in, a, in the mood for a specific thing on a specific day. If I was fly fishing I probably would have really nailed them. Anyway we're gonna head up to the lake to that spot we were in yesterday. Hopefully it's cleared out with people. The bass seem to be hanging out on uh, that side of the lake this year and uh, see what we can catch. Alrighty folks, well we're back into the area we were catching them yesterday and uh, see if we can catch them today. First fish of the evening. Well, first fish of the, of the lake of the evening. A <laughs> little large mouth. It's typical Red House Lake. Little stupid large mouth, but hey, it's fun to be catching bass again finally. And uh, if you watch my videos, you know there's some big ones in here too. And you never know when a big one's going to hit. It's just kind of random, I've learned. Well, there is a giant dead gold shiner right there. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Anyway, we're calling it quits here at Red House Lake. Uh, only one little bass today, but we did catch all those trout down at the trout stream. So it was a decent day. Got out fished here by uh, a little kid on the point down there. It was just nailing them, but... Sounds like he outfished his father too. So uh, anyway, it was a good day, a gorgeous day out here. Uh, it's just nice to get out. Fishing's been kind of tough lately, but uh, at least we're catching something. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe, and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next fishing adventure. There's a gold shiner right there. Lots of gold shiners are spawning this time of year, I guess.